Hang on. All right, Fire fans, we're in here. We gotta be quiet. Now let's make the teams. First visitors. Dave Hall's on the. Shh, quiet. He told me that. Captain Insano shows no mercy. Number 18, Anna Howe. Number 6, Emily Brinkman. 36, Jill Schultz. Number 26, Mike Hawkins. Number 19, Dale Barber. Double zero, Kendall Hall. Number 7, Brady Williams. Starting for today's contest. Number 1, Kennedy Allen. Number 7, Natalie Houston. Number 55, Abby Kiki. now for the home team, the Pirates. Number four, four Kyle Allen. Number six, Katie Knox. Number 11, 11 Jake Stagg. Stag. Number 18, Olivia Lucille. Number 21, Kaylee Briggs. Number 23, McKenna Bowery. Number 7, Brentley Preston. Preston. Number 27, Ireland Deck. 30, not a lot of Thirty-two, Ashley Number 16, McKenzie Willoughby. Number 21, Ian Illusion. Number 24, Melina Allen. Number 5, Sidney Smith. Number 8, Alex Buckner. Number 14, Grace Williams. Number 15, Lane Irwin. Number 19, Emma Saltzman. 28, Nikki and Number 33, Lexi Smith. Number 34, Sydney Whitman. Starting for tonight's contest, number 13, Allie Allen. Number 20, Elena Keeney. Number 1, Elena Downer. Number 10, Lainey Eller. Number 9, Chelsea Steele. Number 22, Jordan Jennings. Number two, two Kristen Reisner. Number 12, 12 Olivia Miller. Miller. Number 17, 17 Sophie, Sophie Higgins. Higgins. Number 26, Tina Kirkendall. And your goalkeeper, defending home goal, wearing number three, Morgan Bivin. Head coach, you and I are nervous. Assisted by Kevin Kevin, Kevin Miller, and Molly King. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the playing of the National Anthem. Per Pirate fans, we're here today at Ed Miller Stadium where the Willisburg Lady Pirates will take on the Russell Red Devils. And I've interrupted Dave Hall's mojo because <laughs> we were going to introduce that earlier, but uh, 
could pull it off. It's like scratching your belly and rubbing your head at the same time. He's just, That's pretty good. <laughs> Todd Jarvis is out there and the head coach for the Pirates, and he's actually coaching in sweatpants. Odd choice for the Heat today. And uh, it says Ohio State on one side and uh, Urban Meyer on the other. So we're about ready to kick off here at Ed Miller Stadium. Shaw's giving me the keys. I'm going to be locking the gate when I walk out today. He pulled me in the eye. Captain Nintendo chose no mercy. Wheelersburg with two forwards in front, four midfielders, and then a stopper and three defenders, and the goalie is Morgan Bivens. Up front for the Pirate Lady Pirates is number two, Kristen Reiser, and number 12, Libby Miller. And we have some numbers. Dave Hall does hand me over the roster, so we are good to go. And we get the green light from the green official. And away they go. Kick it over to Sophie Hagens. Now controls in the middle and almost immediately and does be taken away from her by number 17. And that is Kylie Busick. Kicked around in the middle there. Uh, controlled by Russell. Stopped by Sophie. And now their attack is on. Laney turns. And let's see if she kicks it forward. She does. She's got a runner, and that is Laney Eller. She's taking it to the corner and gets, well, I thought she got knocked down, but it was the other girl that got knocked down. Number 16 for Lady Red Devils, that's Emily Evers. Uh, that was the my Domino's pizza delivery guy and he just dropped me off a couple of pies kicked out of there by the goalie and Libby Miller's on the attack Fender's trying to find their uh, stopper there does now they're in a good triangle Lena Keeney comes and steps up into the pass and is missed and here comes Russell on the attack Wheelersburg holds their line really well. Valance has it, and then it's kicked over here. Now we'll probably have a shot on goal, but number one, she takes a shot, but Morgan Bivens is there to clean it up at 38 minutes early in the first half. What? Did we just become best friends? Yep. All right, kicked around there in the middle by Sophie Higgins, and there Charles swatting flies up here. It's hotter than the back end of a horse, so there are flies. Number 12 looks like she was off sides, and they're going to call it. Good call. So it'll be a goal, uh, penalty kick there for probably Jennings. Jordan will take it. It's 85 degrees in the... Uh, there goes another fly. Uh, I think he splattered out. Yeah. Jordan Jennings, no score on board. One shot on goal. To the keepers, all there has been so far in this one. 55 step up, swing and a miss, and that was a bad play by number 55 there. She should have passed that one up. Abby Keaton. Yard Keaton. She tried to kick that from Ed Miller Stadium. This is another stadium. Yeah, from the other side of it. <laughs> Foul on the Pirates would be a direct kick uh, coming at the 50. Kicks it over to her teammate, and they set up an offense. You can tell Russell's real schooled on where their placement of their players are. No real threat so far by the offense of Wheelersburg. This girl's got some nice feet for number 10. Uh, they're Ansley Bender. Boy, they are going for the home run balls early. Russell looks like a strong outfit. Kick up on a way by the goalie Morgan Bivens. Settled by Kirkendall. Kirkendall will hit it to Keeney. Keeney kicks it forward. Nice pass. But stolen away by the defender number 22, Abby Satterwhite. Oh, yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Might have had a breakaway, but I think they fought over the, who had the ball there between Chris and Libby. Oh, nice slide tackle. Lady Keeks 
keeps kicks it up to Riser. Riser in the corner. She's going to try to center it. Nice move. Left foot into the box. Kicked out nicely, and Keeney's going to bounce off, and it's going to be a throw-in for the Lady Red Devils. 35 minutes in, no score yet. Stolen from uh, the defender there. Kick. Looks like uh, looks like Reisner's not going very hard there. But it'll be a corner kick. Opportunity, scoring opportunity for the Lady Pirates. Don't act like you're not impressed. Oh, it's a throw in into the box. And the goalie gets it out of there. Counter control. She kicks it back into the box. Defender there for the Lady Red Devils kicks it out. Mina Kirkendall kicks it over to Counter. Counter will take it. Kick it towards Pass the middle. And she was oh. offside. Great pass. It was. comes the penalty kick off through the offsides and controlled by the defenders there for Russell. Russell on the attack. They're playing tri basic triangle soccer. Valance kicks it out of bounds. Got Valance is pretty quick. But it goes out of bounds and the lady Russell Red Devils will throw it in. Stolen away by Sophie and this is going to be in trouble because nobody is going to catch up with Libby Miller she will have a shot on goal, and it's wide right. Holy cow, you got to get them. Todd Jarvis' secret weapon, Coach Jonathan Eaton, uh, was mad than he's ever been on that one, yelling at Libby Miller for the wide goal. Here comes the deep ball, settled down by the Lady Red Devils. She's off sides. Yeah. yeah. Easy. Called there by Hedrick. Hedrick uh, sporting a toupee this, uh, this game. That's awful different of him. And Mackenzie Willoughby will check in for the Lady Pirates as, well, maybe she won't. Uh, Hedrick is one of those officials that really doesn't move. He just kind of stands there and calls the game. He's Shaw's favorite. Hedrick, very, very knowledgeable of the game. Balance kicks it and settled in by the Lady Pirates. Kirkendall turns. Kicks it to Keeney. Keeney has it, and she's going to turn. Nice yeah. little job there. You can tell Keeney's getting a little better with her footwork. Sophie. Sophie gets it taken away, and the push ahead is to the goalie keeper, and Morgan Bivens will kick. 32 minutes to go, no score. Two shots on goal, one apiece for each team. Settled by Kirkendall. Kirkendall turns and has Keeney. Keeney's going to kick it forward and get it stolen. Good job, counter. Russell has been all offense. They, they're not playing. I think that may hurt them. They don't, they're not respecting the speed of the forwards for Wheelersburg. Number 12 turns to the middle of the field and tries to get it to her forwards. That girl looked like she was offside, and she is. Number one's got a cannon on her. I don't want her shooting. That's uh, Kennedy Allen, a senior forward. Uh-oh. There's like seven or eight seniors on this team. And I think they all start. So after the penalty, it'll be a direct kick for Jordan Jennings. Jordan Jennings bulldogs it. And 
it's settled by Kirkendall. Now she loses in the middle. Uh oh, Morgan Bivens has to come out. Good job, Morgan. Morgan's way better than last year in knowing when to play the ball out. She's done a great job this year. Turn. Let's see if uh, Counter can defend here. Sophie playing the ball too. And Balance kicks it forward. Settled by Sophie. Good job. Good job, Sophie. And Sophie kicks it forward. Defended well by the Red, Lady Red Devils. Still in the center of the field. No attack on goal. They're volleying back and forth. Keeney with some defense there. Jordan shanks it, but it's going to go out of bounds. Lewisburg has two subs coming in. Mackenzie Willoughby and then assaults them in the, but that is not a time for them to come in as it goes off um, Wheelersburg. Substitution rules in soccer is that you have to be the one inbounding the ball in order to get your players in. Oh, counter steps up and just whiffs. I think she missed it. Should be our throw in. Coming off is Elena Keeney and Kirkendall. Kenzie Willoughby and Emma Salsa checks in. Uh-oh. Ball's being pushed forward by the Lady Pirates. Throw in for the Lady Pirates. It's a bomb by Kristen Reiser. And she's going to bomb it towards the goal. And almost goes in. Good play by the keeper. But I would test her again. She had the hops of Jared Shaw on that one. I think it was at least a half inch for her. Ooh. the pace. little uh, trivia basketball. I kind of ran my mouth over the winter playing Shaw and he drained about 12 threes in my eyeball that game. <laughs> but I was hurt, uh, physically hurt, playing about 60%. Did you play PlayStation or Xbox? No, we were over at the gym playing old man ball. And which is perfect for Shaw because all he does is shoot. <laughs> All right, so here is controlled by Kenzie. Turns. Reisner loses it. Good job by the Russell Lady Devils. And here comes the attack. Uh-oh. Number one has a shot on goal, but it's over the net. That was a good pass by number 17 there, Kylie Busick. Absolutely. 27 minutes to go in the game. 0-0 zero, zero is still the score. Jordan Jennings about ready to boot it out of there, and she does. And it's a good one. Turned by Reisner, but it goes a little too far. We're bunched up too much, girls. we got about 12 people on one side of the ball. It's not going to be good on the counter. 15 in the middle. And nice job by Vallis. Stealing that ball. Uh-oh. Libby Miller is faster than that girl, I promise you. <laughs> If she can just control it. Oh, and she loses it. Oh, gosh. What's going on here? Send it. Send it. Send it. Send it. Oh. Oh. Laney Eller trying to push it forward up to the forward there, but it goes to the goal keeper. And it'll be a uh, kick out for number five here. She blasted down the field. Jordan Jennings shanks. But it's controlled by the parts, and now it's back and forth. It's taken away by the Red Devils. Balance, a little hard touch there, but it controls it, and it's going to be a throw in for the Lady Pirates. Here comes Elena Keeney into the game. Now she will take Ellie Counter's spot. Also checking in is number one that our striker is going out number zero is coming in at, probably for a breather that's kind Kendall Duvall a freshman 
Yeah, she is gassed, and it is hot out there. And I want to say the officials will stop time today, halfway through, for a water break. Twenty-five minutes to go. This will be a direct kick from the forty. Wethersburg holding a high line, five defenders now, with two stoppers. And it's controlled, and this is a good counter if we can get it. Sophie uh, sends it forward. Good job by number 10 there. Ansley Bender, the defender, to kick it out of bounds because Libby was hot on her tail. He put me in the eye. Captain Antino shows no mercy. Elena loses it. Elena Keeney, you can tell she's very athletic. She's just not sure yet. Kicked out by... What the heck happened there? Did that go out of bounds? On the concrete? We throw in for the Lady Pirates. I didn't... Did you see what happened there? I thought it was strange. 24 minutes to go. Williamsburg... Zero, the Lady Red Devil zero. A couple shots on goal for both teams. And Keeney has it, and she gives it up. Valance kicks it out of bounds. It'll be a throw in for the Lady Red Devils. Here comes the throw in towards the goalie. Mounts again throws it out. Trolled at the 25 by Red Devils. Almost stolen away, it is. And Sophie is. Oh, number 12 has a shot on goal. Morgan stops it. Great job. Morgan typically doesn't get many saves during the year. Because uh, of competition, but today competition has risen and she will have to work. Lena Keeney trying to push forward. She looks like she's a little wore out. Russell being patient. Got to get it out there. Right. All right. There you go. There comes Laney. She's going to... Jeez. Wow. They're there they are. Too far. And Jordan Jennings come out. Nope. She's going to let it go to her keeper, but it was all sides anyhow. So, Willsburg doing a good job holding their line on defense. Uh, it's caused uh, Russell not to uh, push forward that fast. Of course, I did dunk on Shaw. That, that was not mentioned the over the winter time. Huh? Show me that video. <laughs> uh, Rodney pushed. Rodney uh, holding lifted me up on his shoulders. <laughs> really? Oh, here comes a miss and. This could be trouble, but the goalkeeper comes out. Good job. Uh, but I will be 100% healthy this basketball season, as long as Jonathan Eaton don't kill me. Oh, that's a that's a goal because it was... She wasn't off. Shoot it, shoot it, shoot it! Ah. She wasn't off because Russell kicked it. That was a terrible pass shot, though, Libby. Come on! They think they get to a certain point, and then they think they have to kick it when they can actually dribble it into the net. Jarvis now shedding the sweatpants, and looks like he's putting on some biker shorts. Spandex. Yep. Spandex biker shorts. And he's actually putting on a bicycle helmet, so he may be going cycling after this. Maybe going home and getting a hot pocket. 21 minutes to go, 0-0 zero to zero is the score. Substitutions in for the Pirates. Sydney Spence is checked in at a forward. Really hot outside. And 
goes off and kicked around. Number 13, Valance has come up. Cindy Spence is fighting through there, trying to get something on. And it's sent. Laney clears. 20 minutes to go. Zero to zero, the score. Good throw in for the Lady Red Devils. Shot on goal. Bad mistake. She's, boy, they're selfish, aren't they? Georgia Arrington really wanted to pound that one in there, but too far out. Counter will send it forward to Reisner. Reisner head butts it. They need to switch fields here. Pirates a little off, out of sync offensively here. And the Russell Red Devils are playing keep away. And they're doing a good job of it. Kenzie settles it. And... And tries to pass it up to Valance. Kirkendall tries to get it, and it is kicked out of bounds. And it'll be a throw in for the Lady Pirates. And they're going to stop it here and get water because of the heat. We'll be right back. Lady Pirates 0, Russell Red Devils. <laughs> The right Lady Red Russell Red Devils are about to return to action after okay. the our mandatory water break. Okay. And it'll be a throw in okay. for Russell. Well, if you don't mind, give me an update later just in case. Um, I appreciate it very much. That's and two days in a row, bad luck. That's not good. Kenzie kicks it forward. Brian came to check on Katie. I wasn't able to get that done, but I know he stopped it. Here comes the Red Devils at the 30-yard line, just outside the box. Stolen away. It is too, Turns it is, Spence. It is too hot. We just took, we're playing soccer Spence right kicks it forward, and, and it goes break. out of bounds. Break in the game. I've only seen him do that once, so, I mean, just so here comes the throw in for Russell, and that's a terrible throw in. How she got away with that was beyond me. 
Yeah, well, that's uh, that's the official there. Well, I, under, I understand. If there's anything I can do, please let me know. I'll be glad to run over. Can't think give Chase? Call the squad, let them check her out. That way we've got that as a backup. If they decide not to go, that's okay. I mean, that's just yeah. Oh, I miss. Yes, that she does. So if you hate 18.40 to go, and a lot of missed balls here right. early in the season. All right, I appreciate it, Jody. Thanks. She said she had one get too hot. That calls the ball. Tennis. And it is a throw-in for the Lady Pirates, and 18 minutes to go. Kenzie Willoughby will check off. Libby Miller about ready to enter the game as Elena Keeney comes in and checks in for McKenzie. Good throw by Laney Eller. Headed around there, number 15. Oh, she loses. Miss Struck. And again, we're trying to play the long ball. And the Russell's defenders are just sitting there. It's like the captain for Russell is number 75. Jordan's going to boot it forward. Oh, she's onside. She is onside, and the goalie has to come out and play it. And oh, kick to the goal. Uh-oh. See if Laney can check her. Can't. Libby Miller about ready to check in. Sophie is out getting a break, too. Uh-oh. And we got a foul. Hook by Laney Eller. Kevin Eller taught her that one after eating a sandwich at Fred's. Sophie's back in. Back row. Back row. Okay, I got you. Into the home goal. Thank you for that. What? Did we just become best friends? Yep. Yeah. Foul on, uh, looks like the Lady Red Devils. Oh, one was offside. Oh, and Russell's like, the fans are madder than they have ever been. Don't act like you're not impressed. 16.24 <laughs> to go. 0-0 zero, zero the score. And from the offsides will come Jordan Jennings to boot it. Does. Laney kicks it out of bounds. It'll be a throw in for Russell. Russell looks a little better conditioned than the Lady Pirates. But they are wearing white shirts, which does help cool your body. Nice job, Laney. Trap. But then she finds nobody in the middle of the field. Oh, oh number one just chucked her. Yes. That ain't right. I think Chelsea needs to chuck her back. It's kind of hateful, number one is. And she did. It's going to be a foul there. Kicked around there by the Lady uh, Red Devils, and let's see if Kristen can get going, and she can't. 17 in the middle, and now it's kicked out of there by Valance. Laney will have it. She'll kick it forward. I'm not sure what she's doing, but kicking it forward is all they've got. She's onside this time. Off, huh? Yeah, now she's offside. Boy, she just thinks she's just something, isn't she? Number one there. Yeah, that's the old one too. Man, I don't think so. I've had some good times. I met some cool people, cruised around, cranked some tunes. Fourteen twenty-six to go. Wheelersburg zero. Lady Red Devils zero. Rex Piles is now climbing the cell phone tower directly in front of me. He just got the job today, so let's hope he hangs on. Kicked forward, Ellie Counter has it, and she will send it forward to Spence. Spence is going to kick.
kick it forward to the goalie. Thirteen minutes to go. And now we got a foul on Sydney Spence. Multiple substitutions coming in for the Lady Pirates as the Russell Red Devils will kick forward and start the offense. 0-0 zero, zero score, 13 minutes to go. Lewisburg football team up there practicing, preparing for Columbus Bishop Hartley this weekend. Of course, that'll be on BergFan.com too. BergFan.com is brought to you by Cottle Trader Sales and Wolford's Landing. The Misty's Cone Shop. Johnson's Shirt Stop. Jared Shaw's Three Point Technique. Camp. And here comes mass substitution in for the Pirates. Christian Reiser and Spence will take off, and Libby Miller goes to the midfield with Counter. Counter and Libby are your strikers now. Thrown ahead to Counter. Kenzie kicks it forward to Ellie, but it not kicked very well, and the defender grabs it for Russell. Oh, Valance is out of position. Jordan's got to come in and take the fence. Oh, man, that girl's fancy. Shoots with her left, but Morgan's there. Good job, Morgan. 11 minutes to go. No score here. Lady Pirates, zero. Red Devil, zero. Good trap by Laney. Laney kicks it to Sophie. Sophie turns. See if she can get a runner. And she does, because Libby holds up well. She's on the attack. She shoots, and it's just wide left of the goal. That was a good shot. I'll give her that one. So the goal kick for Lady Red Devils. I don't think so. I've had some good times. I met some cool people, cruised around, cranked some tunes. Libby will try to control it. Oh, it just gets past the defender there, but the defender cleans it up nicely. Now it's uh, on the Wheelersburg side of the offense. Kind of creams off there. Oh, high kick, and Russell will give it up to a direct kick for uh, the Lady Pirates. Laney Eller will come in. She will send it left. Good. Counter there. Kenzie's going to give chase on the live side. See if she can get it. She can't. Saltzman kicks it out of bounds and be throw in for the Russell Red Devils. I, I think this is a win for the Lady Pirates um, if they can get out of here 0-0. Zero, zero. What do you think, Dave? Yeah, I think it's a real game. Right. I look to see if Mr. Shaw is right now to the one I talked back to the principal over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Shaw's uh, drawing up his offensive plays and he's going to get put against me. He's going to get Coach Ader to run a pick and roll for him. <laughs> Yeah, the three-point shot. Yeah, don't, don't, Aider's, Aider's a, don't kid yourself. He shoots more than I do. Aider's an offensive mind. He plays it like he pl he's coaching. <laughs> <laughs> Saltzman whiffs, and come on, girls. Somebody's got to take the, the ball. Oh, you don't come up, Chelsea. And it's kicked out of bounds, but it's a win for the Lady Pirates. Kristen Reiser and about ready to check back in. Here comes the throw in. Saltzman has it. Uh, no. Yeah. It's kicked forward too far for number one. They're trying to get one on the right side there. You can tell their offense is that come back across the field. Did 
be a throw in for Russell. I think so too. Shaquille O'Neal is on top of the building. It's going to be a throw in for the Lady Pirates. Kicked by the goal! It's an own goal by the uh, goal by Silver. <laughs> Oh god. Not sure who to give it. But we'll take it. Williamsburg scores first to 746 off an own goal by the Lady Red Devil. I don't know who did. So it'd be a kickoff for uh, the Russell Red Devils. up in my Sophie. I tell you what, Williamsburg's done better at substituting and Russell could end up getting, getting the gas pretty soon. Yeah. It's good job other coaches recognizing that. Yep. Uh-oh. This might be the equalizer. Come out, come out, come out. Nice job, wow. Bivens! Woo! That's a class SOC one type move. All team, first team. For her. She's got to go off now. He pulled me in the eye. Captain Antino chose no mercy. One, two. What are you talking about? Yeah. Well, she she hit Chelsea still right in the gut. Oh, she did. Big time. Doesn't look like the uh, coach is griping too much. What's does Hedrick moves the at, at the well, speed of half speed of smell? Got a turbo speed going right now. He's gonna have a conversation with him. Oh my gosh! I think that girl thinks she's entitled. We'll be right back. All right, so we're back in action. 6.55 to go. Withersburg leading after an own goal by Russell Lady Red Devils after the attack by the Lady Pirates. And here comes the Lady Pirates. Sophie controls, and it'll be a foul on Russell. Sophie takes it up the field, kicks it to nobody, but Libby's there is going to have 
trouble. Good job by Russell for the goalie kick it out. Balance heads it up. And kicked around by Russell Lady Red Devils. The LA counter set to check back in. Uh-oh. Woo! Get it out of there. Good job, Laney. Keeney with a the stop there. And stab attack there. Looks like Kirkendall going to check back in. Libby Miller giving chase. Forcing them to kick it back out. They're going to kick it to really nice times. Yep. Here comes Valance. Valance was going to come up to it. But now controlled by Lady Red Devils. Kicked around, kicked around. Where's it going? Nobody knows. Five minutes to go here in the first half. Wheelersburg Lady Pirates up 1 0 against the Russell Lady Red Devils. Counter stops it, but it's. Golly! Chumber 12 just barreled her in! Man. Good nice job! job. Woo. Ellie with the stop in the corner. Now she's going to carry. Turn around and. Oh! Darnell has it. Freshman, just a freshman. Tell she's working her way in there to some meaningful playing time. Oh, that's a foul. She knows too. Four seventeen to go. Wheelersburg leading one zero. Russell just outside the box with a direct penalty kick. Lewisburg holding the line up high about the five yard marker. Here it comes into the box and Morgan stops it with her goalie hands. Sweet. Number 22 controls turned by Libby. Good offense and oh she's going to smoke this girl. Oh boy. Trouble in paradise. She cuts it in, and nice defense by the Lady Red Devils. That time, she probably should have shot when normally she should have carried it, so she did a good job there. And here comes the throw in. 55 has it. And here comes Sophie, kicking it four and they're all sides. Oh boy! Boom shakalaka! Here comes the penalty kick. Two thirty-seven to go. Williamsburg leading one zero here in the first half. Hot conditions for the Lady Pirates. And the Lady Red Devils. And Jared Shaw. I saw him sweating too. Killing flies. He's killing flies right here. Now Todd has decided to put his sweatpants back on, but he's got them on backwards. I can see the tag. And the zipper's in the back too, so it's going to be difficult when he goes to the bathroom. <laughs> Zipper sweatpants. That's a new style for soccer coaches. Back in. Number one's back in after she gets the yellow one. One more and she gets a red card. Kicked around there, Levy pushes forward and Russell settles it. Now they're just kind of playing keep away with a minute 38 to go. Number 17 on the edge there, she's pretty quick. They're going to try to cross it again. This time it's uh, settled by Wheelersburg. And they're trying to get one in. Kicked out of there by Morgan Bivens. Good job, Morgan. 
Good job. Nice stop by Sophie. And turned by Reisner. Great play by Reisner. And she's going to try to kick it forward to Miller, but it's intercepted by the defender. Playing the passing lanes very nicely there. Counter will turn up. You turn, yep. Come on. And she's on. Come on. And she's got another shot on goal. Libby, can't she get it in? Oh, gosh. Libby? <laughs> 46 seconds to go. they got to hurry up. 40, 38, 37. Let's see if they can get it in. 33, 32. Laney's going to send it in. People are crashing into the box. It's headed out. Valance over the outer, and she pokes at it, but it's no good. 20 seconds to go. That's probably going to be the scoring for this half. 1-0. And we will be right back here on birdfan.com for the second half of action. And Shaw is now warming up, so apparently he's ready to just demonstrate some of that skill he's got. We'll be right back to birdfan.com. And the microphone's going to be on, guys. Just, you know, last time.
any effort. And I, I don't. I agree with him, and that he doesn't necessarily have to change his style, but he can still sell himself to those people and empathize with kids that were there under a different system and make them want to be there for him. I, that's the effort that I'm disappointed in because I think that you've got to go a long way to make those kids want to either be there for their school for the right reasons or be there for you. And I don't think he's bothered to do either one. I think he's going to go away and make their way. Like he's just there to stay with the
All right, we're back here at uh, Ed Miller Stadium. I just got done with my first lesson by Jared Shaw. He was telling me to work on my follow-through. Conditioning. And conditioning, yeah. He, I was shooting a 20-pound ball that had fix-a-flat in it, so every time I hit it on the concrete, it went 20 feet in the air. I think he's just doing that to uh, not train me so he knows I won't catch on. So Hedrick adjusts his toupee, and Jarvis has now got flip-flops on and Bermuda shorts. Apparently, somebody's wanting to ready to play. They haven't been playing in yet. And here goes the kickoff. 40 minutes to go in the game. one nothing. Fans are getting madder than ever. And uh, interesting story in the first half. Number one got a yellow card. That would be Kennedy Allen, who has a, apparently has 85. Co no, co uh, 17 has 85 colleges looking at her, <laughs> which is probably a record for any type of player. Nice pass over to Reisner, and she oh, boots wow. it forward. Can she get to it? Yeah. Uh oh, it's trouble. Oh, she's out of the box with her hand. Oh, Hendrick wasn't even looking. His toupee fell down in front of his eyes. <laughs> Crap. Should have had that one Justin. Chelsea boots it forward. It's a chin kick. Oh, my God. Chin music. Kicked out of bounds up the hill. It goes. Up to the game. And Bol uh, I mean, Paul Bull picks it up, throws it back in. <laughs> Throw in for uh, the Rady Red Devils there. Russell, you can tell Russell's a very good skilled team. and But the Pirates are playing very, very well this evening. Turned by Sophie. Sophie kicks it forward and he gets through. Can Reisner finish? She's going to have a shot on goal left and it's... Oh my gosh, there's Lemony to clean it up and settles left. Holy cow! <coughs> what a gift! My gosh! Jonathan's mad. Oh my gosh. Couldn't get any better. So a goal kick for the Lady Red Devils. Counter turns. Kicks it over to the right side. Settled. Keeney will try to kick it toward the corner. She does. Good job. Stays inbounds. Oh, holy cow. Uh, oh, gosh. Holy cow there, too. Oh, man, that stinks. Laney could have settled, but uh, it goes to the goalkeeper. But, yeah. <laughs> Kick out. Man, that was, that was Pepsi, wasn't it? Pepsi came coming from the bowels within. Jeez. Nice job. Nice job. Switches fields, and now Libby's going to run right around her, take the ball from her, move in for scoring position, and it's a goal! What a score! Oh! <laughs> Two to nothing, Wigglesburg takes the lead, 37-30. Are you ready to play? I'm ready to play. Shovel's on the phone. Dave Hall gives me some popcorn. <laughs> Two to nothing. Williamsburg leads 37-30 to go here on the clock. New Boston boys coming in on the bus. They will take on the boys in action next. I will be covering that game as well, so... Refresh your browser when I get back on. What? Did we just become best friends? Yep. Here comes the throw in. Turn. Kurgan all pushes forward. And the wrestle Red Devils control. And here comes number one. Oh, she let it go. That red yellow card's got it in her brain there. 
36 minutes to go. Williamsburg leading two to nothing. And they're telling her to calm down because she knows that she's out. She's a. Uh, Throw. And look at Laney step in. Good hustle, Laney. Way to make her work. Here comes number 10 for the Red Devils. That is Hansley Bender. She's been, her name's been called quite a few times there. Number 12 turns. It's Taylor Stamper for and McKenzie. Defends it off. The kids get forward, and there will be a throw in for the Russell Red Devils. Turn by number 55, and Sophie's like, I'll take that. Thank you. Oh. Holy cow! Where's the foul? be a throw in for the Lady Pirates. Kirkenall comes out as, who is that, number 19. Oh, Emma Salt. Throw in for McKenzie. Throws it deep. Good job, Laney, for coming around. Turns around. Heads it to the defender. Oh, Chelsea gets taken away from her. And it's wide of the goal. Good job by the defender. And it'll be a corner kick as it's knocked out of bounds by Wheelersburg. He put me in the eye. After the casino shows no mercy. 34 minutes to go, Wheelersburg 2. Russell, zero. Hey, pick up the runner, back door. Reisner with some coaching down there. Headed out by the Lady Pirates. Clear it out, 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 clear it out. There you go. Sophie has it, and she's running. If she can get Miller on the run, she's got something. Nice job. Miller passes to herself a little give and go and takes it. Holy cow, she's going to go. She's got a drop, and let's see if Reisner can find it. She can't. That's too far. Laney with a good defense. Oh, Valens gets number one's on side. Nice shot on goal. And that's going to be goal kick for the Lady Pirates. Two minutes ago, 33 minutes ago, Williamsburg leading to zero. Here comes the goal kick out by Jordan James. Higgins is a matter he's ever been. Here comes number one on the side. She's going to center it. Nice job by Morgan Bivens with the stop. She's been on point tonight. Oh, this could be dangerous as Miller has got it. And she's going to kick it forward. That number 11 has been running like crazy. Center it to the corner. And it'll be a goal kick. Libby Miller with an almost another one. Sydney Spence is going to check in. And he's going to give Libby a break for the finish. That's right. 32 minutes ago, two to nothing. I won't lie to you, it's extremely hot out. 
Hossman gives up. Chelsea kicks it forward. A good job, Chelsea. And the Russell Red Devils are on the attack. Morgan Bivens has got this one all the way. Coach is not happy with her. He was. He's madder than he's ever been. Booted out of there by Bivens, who's played one heck of a game. Can't fault any of these girls. They've played really good. That's offsides. Oh, my gosh. The Russell fans are madder than they've ever been. See, your mom is gone. You, the, the apple don't fall far from the tree. Mom is out of here. The number one. Boy, soccer always brings the best out of them. All right. Could be a battle royale of the high river. <laughs> She's on side now as one gets chased. Centers it and doesn't do anything with it as Morgan Bivens picks it up with 30 minutes to go. Turns, gives it. And it's picked up. I like these 20 yard field goals up there. Yeah. I don't think yelling at an official changes the call. I've never yeah. seen that. She's getting out of the building. She is. Have you ever seen somebody, a fan yell and it changed the call? No. Me neither. It'll be a throw in for the Lady Russell. Red Devils. He told me that. Open the door. Oh, illegal throw. You can tell number one's frustrated. She's a very good player, though. She's not had her night. Here comes uh, number 17. She will kick it forward, and she's on. Reisner's going to be attacking now. And a little chip shot, but it's over to the right side. 29 minutes to go. Substitution's coming in for Wheelersburg after the goal kick. Laney will check out. So Emma Salsman, Kirkendall, and Willoughby will check in for the Lady Pirates. Can't stand it. Salty guy, yeah. Radar been messing with the salt, salt radar? I think he did the first game. And uh -huh. they took him off of it. Put him back on the burgers. Immediately following this game while the boys game, once it gets started, so just refresh your browser. Tripping and punching in the face. This is a this is a bar. This is a bruiser, isn't it? Chelsea still on the injured player. We'll be right back. As Shaw goes down and takes care of business. That's right. Jarvis giving uh, McKittrick, uh, not McKittrick, but um, Hendricks, the, the uh, a little earful, wasn't he? Mm -hmm. Said somebody popped my girl in the mouth, and he's right. Don't know if it was incidental or not. Good job, Morgan. Morgan's played a great game. Fantastic. Her and Libby Miller would be my players of the game at this point. Oh, hit Kirkendall in the face. 
Counter sends it forward. She's on. If Reisner can get to it, and she can, she's going to turn it in, come inside the box. Oh, she probably should have stayed in there. Elena Keeney is going to try to get it going, and she does. It's going to be a throw in for the Lady Red Devils. Immediately following this game, after a warm-up period, the boys will take on New Boston. Berkfan.com will be covering that as well. Berkfan.com is brought to you by Cottle Trailer Sales. Missy's Cone Shop, Wolford's Landing, The Shirt Stop, Magnolia Bank, Come on, Sydney. Spence trying to go to the corner, and she can't. 27 minutes to go. Wheelersburg going right to left. All orange uniforms. Lady Red Devils in white shirt. Maroon pants. Willoughby steps in. Can't make it. Headed out of there, but uh, controlled by the Pirates. Here comes Libby Miller with 26 minutes after she gets a break. Oops. Throw down the line. Good throw by Mackenzie Willoughby there. She'll throw it in. Sophie controls. Good defense by the Lady Red Devils there. Nice job, Allie. Allie playing great defense. Number one there sends it to the middle. That's Kennedy Allen. Good defense by the Lady Pirates. 25 minutes to go. Wheelersburg still in that same formation they've been all all night. Have done well. Good job of putting pressure on the defense of Russell. Oh, yes. Comes the throw in. Can be a chip shot. And shoot it. Shoot it. Shoot it. Shoot it. Oh my gosh. Good defending by Russell. As their defenders come in. There'll be a foul there. Five minutes ago. This is a good ball game to watch. It's been a good one. Good soccer match on the pitch. Both ways. Wheelersburg leading two to nothing. Levy Miller scored, and the Russell Red Devils scored on an own goal. And that's your scoring so far. Laney kicks it way up in the air. Todd headbutts it out. He's not allowed playing. I hope he knows. Gene, I think one of the dads said they've been in the Elite Eight the last four years. Oh, yeah, they're good. Good program. Yeah, Russell has always been a strong girls program. Shaw's back from taking care of the, the business. Life of the AD is what I say. It's like a garbage disposal. Get rid of the trash. Sophie has it, and she oh. punched out. Yes, he called that one. Finally, 15 extends her hands. That's the one who's going to 50 colleges. That's uh, Georgia Arrington, 11th grader. 24 minutes to go. Wheelersburg leading 2-0. to zero. Ruth Ball out there taking pictures. Sends it into the box. Oh, head on by Libby. That was a great job, but it's uh, wide left of the goal. Great kick. It was perfect into the box by uh, Laney Eller. And it uh, looks like Todd's making a substitution inside the pitch as he's bringing Sophie in for defense. Chelsea boots it forward to be a throw in. 
Of course, Wheelersburg content on playing defense for 23 minutes as they lead 2-0. We'll be playing it. Shanked up there by the Russell Lady Devils. Some bumping and going, grinding there. and It'll be a penalty against Libby. <laughs> That's probably one of the more physical matchups we've seen in a while. Definitely so. Both these girls playing hard. Russell kicks it forward. It's headed out of there by Chelsea. Need out. And Emma Salzman is going to check back in for the Lady Pirates. I thought uh, Coach Jarvis has done a great job substituting his players, giving them breaks when they needed to. He's a little more deeper this year than he was last year. Chelsea, yeah. good job. And it'll be a corner kick for the Lady Red Devils. Uh, All right. Here comes the corner kick into the box. It's pretty good. Headed away from there. And field goal is just short. Actually, good ball by the Lady Red Devils into the box there. Here comes Jordan Jennings to kick the goal kick out of there, and it's a beauty. And it's out of bounds. Going to be a throw in for the Lady Pirates. Counter has some room, and she kicks it forward, but a little too far. I think the keeper is going to be able to get this. Rolled out of there by the uh, Lady Pirates. I don't have any money, dude. Ask your mom. Well, maybe I do. Where's your mom at? Kicked around up here at the top, and here comes number one, Allen. Stolen away by Sophie, and look at her. She's not even playing soccer now. She's just head hunting. Sophie, that trucker was. Yeah. Trying to get Sophie to. I think she wants to argue she instead of play soccer. Track so it didn't work out. Didn't work out. Well, Allen now on the attack. Here comes Jordan Jennings. Says hello, defense. And uh, we got another substitution here for the Lady Red Devils, number seventeen. I think that's her first out there. She's played all the whole game. I don't have a number for the new girl that's come in. If I can see it, 19 maybe. Isabella Barker, a 5'2 freshman. Here comes the out of bounds to Russell Red Devils. 19.39 to go. Wilsburg leading 2 to 0. Headed out of there by. Counter, and now it goes back to the goalkeeper. She boots it out. Chelsea kicks it forward. Just playing defense. Maybe looking for a, maybe looking for a counter here. And uh oh, Libby Miller. She may make you miss. She's had a heck of a game. Teeny kicks it over to counter. Counter. Oh, stolen by the uh, forward there, number 12. Good play. That was Taylor Stamper. Oh, Barker just off sides. Oh, yeah. 18.35 to go, Wittersburg 2. The Red Devils 0. Here comes the boom by Jordan Jennings. 
kicked out of there by counter. Kristen's on. Playing the long ball. Kristen turns it in, and that girl is smoked. And it'll set up a corner kick as the shot on goal is deflected out, but it'll leave a corner kick for the Lady Pirates 18 minutes ago. Into the box, and it's kicked out of there by Russell. Good defense. Two other players ran each other. Yep, and it'll be a throw-in though for the Lady Pirates. It's number eight is checked in for the Lady Pirates uh, for the evening. That's Alex Glockner. And then we will stop for a hydration back break, and we'll be right back. The heat exhaustion fill her up with hydration to the girls it's very very hot muggy late August uh, night here at Ed Miller Stadium the Willersburg Lady Pirates leave two to nothing at 17:25 to go and coach Jarvis now uh, taking off his flip-flops and putting on army boots Yes, he is putting sun suntan lotion on his wife beater, just on the wife beater shirt, not on his arms. So protect, protecting the wife beater shirt, but not him. Seventeen twenty-five to go. Two. To nothing. We didn't care. Here comes Miller. Miller. Oh, deflected. That could have been on. And here comes uh, Barker, and she's all sides. Hey, all you do about that? No, nah. didn't get back in time. comes the kick. Jordan Jennings knees it. And it's 
controlled by Sophie. Sophie flies. Uh oh, deflection, and that makes trouble for the wrestle devil. Here comes the kick into the box, and it's a goal kick. Shot on goal, but it's going to be a corner kick actually, as it deflects off of. Here comes the corner kick. Looks like Balance is going to check back in for the Lady Pirates here pretty soon. And it's into the box. And it's kicked in goal! Libby Miller with number two on the evening! What do you say about that? <laughs> And it's three. Nothing. 1541 left in the corner. Now. Fifteen forty one to go, Williamsburg three. Russell zero. As Wheelersburg has put on an offensive show. Fireworks. <coughs> Field is practically covered with uh, shade now, so it's probably dropped the degrees a little bit, but it's still quite muggy up here. Yeah, they set the game up today, haven't they? Playing good. Yeah, I just burped. It's a honey chicken glaze from McDonald's. Ugh, shouldn't have ate it. McDonald's, you always regret after eating it. It goes down good, but after it works, you're like, man, steak. Russell controls on the outside of the box, kicking it around. 15 minutes to go. They really need to put on some attack because they're down quite a bit now. And she's off sides. See if Libby can take it. Looked like she was off sides, but she wasn't. And it's going to be saved by Libby. Nice job. But good defensive work there by the Lady Red Devils. going to be a throw in for. Hey, pick up your runner on the outside here. Lady Red Devils. Good step in by Sophie. Sophie's going to chip one. Holy cow, smart move by Sophie. Kind of get a cheapy there on her. But good defense there by uh, the goalkeeper there. And I need to call her out for that one because she did a good job. That was uh, Abby uh, Malton. Or Malton Abby. I think they got those backwards. Sophie controls. And she's offsides. 13 minutes to go. Wheelersburg leading three to nothing. Oh, push in the back, and that'll be a foul against number 12. She acts like she didn't know what she had done, but she did. She smiles it off. Jordan Jennings will take Outside, the direct kick. Jordan. Outside, right. Willsburg brings up the line, about the 15-yard line. Jordan's going to boot it towards the 15-yard line. Good ball in towards the center. Laney will sell it. She's got a drop over there, but yeah, there's nothing there. Morgan will kick it forward up to Emma. And it was touched. Good job by the goalkeeper coming out to kick that away. And we got a kick on the foot, and we got an injury timeout. That had to hurt those sting bad when they get cleated like that. She was cleated right on top of the, the shoe. So we'll take a break. We'll be right back. Birdfam.com. Around these palms ain't much to do Sit and work like a dog to Friday Punch that clock and cash that check Raise a little hell to Sunday It's about that time There's a party bang in the woods tonight Heard it through the red and that grapevine Got a keg of beer and a bunch of girls Show them I was gonna be a 
Somber news out there for the Lady Russell Red Devils as one of their players needs to be assisted off. Um, hopefully she's okay. I didn't catch a number for her. Looked like somebody got her on top of the foot. You get to catch a number on that, day? Dave? Dave, you catch a number on her? Sorry. Hopefully it's just a it's a, just a foot bruise and not nothing broke. But uh, she's not able to walk on her right now. So the New Boston Tigers are over there warming up. That's uh, Coach Estep's former team, so a lot of blood going on here. <laughs> yeah, girl. So number twelve there for the Lady Red Devils will take care of the ball. Taylor Stamper, six foot. She's six foot. She has to be on the basketball team. Chelsea still there. Kicked out of there by Morgan Bivens. And uh, it's going to be a toss up day between the player of the game for Morgan Bivens or Libby Miller. Can we have co players? Probably have to have co players here. I'll have to both get them Ridge Meeting Art to uh, make a me a pizza. I didn't catch a number on that one, really, I did not. She is on size. 12 minutes to go, Lewisburg leading 3 to nothing. Libby Biller with two goals and an own goal by the Lady Red Devils. All right. Okay. Well, you go take your dad's time. I texted him. I told him how much time was left in the game. How much time you want to clock you? Uh, yeah. So we lose to 15. And had your kicks us off from warming up down here, then we'll go 20. Okay. But don't look like you can kick us off. There you go. It's hot out. Number 11 controls it for the defense. Laney steps up. 17 with the turn. 17, you can tell, has a good footwork for uh, Lady Red Devils. That's uh, Kylie Busick. Well, she's pretty good. Sophie Hagens will take it. We got an own 17 of our own. Sophie has a good knack for stabbing at the ball at the right time. I think Russell is tired, don't you? I think they're gassed. They are gassed. Uh, they need another break. But you could tell at the beginning of the game they were forcing it, trying to play quick in this heat, yeah. and it cost them. Yeah, they've slowed down, I think. Yeah. 10.57 to go. Of course, it is very, very hot. Chelsea uh, kicks Chelsea it to the parking lot. almost out of the parking lot, <laughs> but Coach Bowl there to clean it up. He had to drop his hot dog. Now he's picking the hot dog up. Scooping the sauce up. That was just a veteran move there by Coach Bowl. He's had a he's had a sauce hot dog before. He knows not to waste it. Now he's putting it in some sort of jar and label it experiment number one. Kick over here by number 17. She's got uh, into the box. It's a little wide. There's that number one Allen. Kicks it up to her uh, midfield girl. Midfield now settling it. I'm going to try to work in a uh, shot here. And she's all sides. must not call offsides in Kentucky much because they really don't aren't picking it up you know, your crowd here. oh yeah Jordan Jennings will do the honors of kicking a penalty kick kicks it forward and 925 to go. Right, 
Here comes the attack. They're bunched up, and that's not going to get it for the Russell Red Devils. Did very good in their spacing early, but now getting tired, I think, on the feet. Nine minutes ago, Coach Jarvis, I thought, did a great job substituting tonight. Uh, he, the Red Devils don't have to substitute many at all. Maybe they don't have them, but Jarvis uh, kept his strikers fresh. And Williamsburg Lady Pirates will check in Mackenzie Willoughby, and out will come. Lane Aquino. Foul on the Red Devils. Oh, foul on the Berg against the Red Devils. Boot it into the box, and Morgan Bivens. Easy pick up there for the Lady Pirates. Eight minutes ago, Willersburg leading three to zero. It's been a heck of a game for the Lady Pirates. I thought they played very well from start to finish. Uh, good saves by Morgan. I'm going to give her a player of the game. I know Libby Miller did her thing, but uh, Morgan was tested early. Absolutely. And uh, had to make some spectacular saves. Uh, not to take anything away from Libby because she definitely played hard. And uh, pressure on. She kicks it out of bounds. Good job by number 17 there. And to be a throw in for the Lady Pirates. Into the box it goes. Good throw in. Headed around. And almost headed in by Libby Miller. And if she would have got the hat trick, I would have stole the award away from Morgan Bivens <laughs> and gave it to Libby. Back to her, huh? Hat tricks are way harder than the... Uh... defense as the counter attack was on for the Lady Red Devils. That'll be a throw in for the Lady Red Devils. Oh, come on coach. Get catch up a little bit. All he's caught was flack from the parents from this brutal beating he's taken. Offside. <laughs> throw in. He had one job. Yeah. Couldn't handle that one. The old give and go. Kenzie heads it out. Good job. Five minutes ago, we was about three to nothing. Uh-oh, step in. Oh! I don't know what happened there. Kicked up towards the front. And... See if she's got a drop here. Ellie has her. Good. Back to her. Back to her. Back to her. No, she's going to turn. Ellie's going to hold it. Good job, girls. Run, be patient. Run, oh, there you go. Here comes into the box. And she tried to do it left footed, but she couldn't do it. Five minutes and 17 seconds to go. Wheelersburg leading three to nothing. The boys will take on the New Boston Tigers. Is the New Boston Tiger, uh, how's the boys' record? Uh, they haven't won again. Have, our boys haven't won? Oh, our boys yeah. have. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're 1-0-1. One, 1-0-1. Oh, and one. One, oh, and one. There you go. How about you met New Boston? Now, who did we lose to? Uh, we tied to North Adams last Saturday. Okay. Headed out by Kenzie. Beat Green and Kenzie. I got you. So Wheelersburg looking to go two wins, one loss on the year. One tie. One tie. Oh, you tied. I'm sorry. Yeah, one oh, I got you. One O means, uh, and then the one needs tie. Okay. So they haven't lost on the year. So the Pirates looking to continue that streak tonight against the winless Tigers. Four minutes ago, three to nothing. Softman 
going to send it forward. Kicked out of there by Chelsea Steele. Going to be throw in for the Russell Red Devils. Going to be a throw in for the Russell Red Devils again. And I believe the Lady Pirates are going to take this one against a talented Russell squad. Throw back to Chelsea. Chelsea kicks it forward. And right now it's a matter of just playing some solid defense and keeping that goose egg. Lady Pirates will be back in action this Thursday. They take on Memphis. I'm not sure if that's away or home, but uh, it'll be the first SOC contest for... Uh-oh, we got a breakaway, and can Morgan do it? And she can't as the drought is over for the Lady Russell Red Devils is number one, Kennedy Allen. Puts one in the back of the net. Three to one now. Kirkendall will come back in for the Pirates. Saltzman will check out. And uh, Hendrick shakes off his toupee from the sweat. Yep. Yeah. She is on. Shot by a goal! Hat trick! And she steals the pizza from Morgan Bivens! <laughs> Libby steals! <coughs> I don't know. I was hoping you'd say that. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Let me steals them making me a pizza away from Morgan Bivens. Morgan, you'll have to just buy your own. Both of you did a great job, but Liddy with a hat trick automatically gets one, right? Has to, right? Has to. Yeah. What'd that be that equivalent in baseball? Grand Slam? <laughs> yeah. A Grand Slam, maybe? Yeah. Or hit for the cycle. <laughs> Probably hit for the cycle more than that. Oh. And number 12 goes down. Good defense. 2.43 to go. Wheelersburg leading 4-1. to one. And after the goal by uh, Russell, Wheelersburg just says, uh, no, we like winning by three. Yeah, well, I'm trying to figure out how. I've always made a playlist, so I put it on my phone. I, know, I plug it into this. I just don't, I'm just trying to figure out what plug I'm going to get. Going to this hooks up to this, and then this wire goes into right here. Nice job, Morgan. Oh, Morgan wants a pizza. Morgan wants a pizza. Let's go back to Morgan now. They're going to have to split a pizza. They're going to get two. I'm going to go down there and print off two certificates for them. They've played two great games, both offensively and defensively. Morgan Bivens and Libby Miller. The making me a pizza players of the game. Making me a pizza's on the ridge. Mini Mart, of course, the podcast also brought to you by the Shirt Stop, Coddle's Trailer Sales on uh, Route 52, Wolford's Landing, place where you can camp out for the night. And of course. Misty's Cone Shop, bringing you all the delicious footers in the Wheelersburg area. 122 to go. Wheelersburg leading 4 to 1. This game is over. And it's a very well played contest between both squads, but Wheelersburg has been on fire. It won't mean a Captain Nintendo shows no mercy. How you doing? Good, how you doing? Okay. Hey. And Libby turns, kicks it up to counter, and counter controls, but it's going to be out of bounds, so it'll be a throw in. Libby wants the pizza again, but goalkeeper comes out. 42 seconds to go, Wittersburg leading 4-1. to one. Try 
control by number 55. Jordan. Jordan. With this defense. 55's going to take one outside the box. No, she's going to give it up to Allen. Allen's going to take one from the box, and it's wide right. That's it. And that will be the end of the game. Willisburg Glee wins 4 to 1. The Make a Me a Pizza players of the game is Libby Miller and Morgan Bivens. We will send those certificates out. Congratulations to the Lady Pirates. We're going to re stop right now, and in about 15 minutes, we're going to start up with the boys' game. We'll be right back. BurkeFan.com. Make sure you refresh. Yes, ma'am,